Hello, hello, and welcome to COVID Craft. <laughs> Sorry, Coffee Craft. Uh, I am your under the weather host, Anon Junior, and uh, we'll 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 see how today goes. Um, I, I've been vacillating between feeling better and feeling not better, so we'll see. Um, the days have really run together, so I'm not sure. Well, I know that's new. And I'm pretty sure that's new. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure what else is new that I haven't shown off. So let's uh, let's take a quick run through things. Um, oh yeah, I, I'll get to that too. Uh, that I'll be happy when that project's done. Although I'll need a new home for uh, for the extra the extra and just. Um, yeah, no, nothing, nothing major's changed in here. This is pretty much the same. These guys are named after the suspicious stew they offer. They're all topped off. It took a couple of rounds of, um, it took a couple of rounds of hiring, but all three of these guys do trade melons and pumpkins. Uh, getting a medium-sized melon pumpkin farm over there is going to be, uh, a little closer to the priority list. A um, couple extra features to the fountain. Don't know if they'll stay. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll see. I, I am kind of tempted to move this to the other side and then bring it up one more, just to kind of give it a little, a little spire, like something or other. But I don't know. Um, yeah, the, the, this has remained relatively unchanged. These guys are still. Good to go. Um, yeah. The potion brewing, I think. No, that was that was pretty much that was pretty much good to go too. Uh, one thing that I do want to do, and I don't know if it'll be today or another live stream, but I started tweaking the design a little bit to add a light to show when that barrel is empty of water bottles. Now, it doesn't count the stuff in the hopper there. It only shows if the barrel itself is empty, which is kind of a good part anyway. Here, let's uh, let, let, let's uh, break back the veil a little bit and show you what's going on. So, I'm taking advantage of the fact that a comparator can pull through a block to read a container because I couldn't have these two comparators next to each other without it causing some really weird problems. Um, so this guy is reading the barrel and as long as there's something in the barrel, it'll power that, which will power that, which will power that lamp. Um, I've run a couple of potions through and it does not seem to cause any issue with the filter, which is good. And uh, yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. So I just need to I just need to get this this set up in the other uh, and the other the other potion brewing stations um, at some point. Because uh, I've already run into the problem of getting uh, <laughs> trying to brew something and then the barrel was empty. Uh, I've also been thinking about the multi-item potion brewer. Most of the designs that I see are ridiculously large. But I, I've noticed that they're ridiculously large because they need to brew every type of potion. I only need the ingredients that aren't in these other systems. Like, I don't need poofer fish in the choose your own potion brewer because if i'm going to make a potion of water breathing bam right there same thing for regen and the three potions down below so that that's five ingredients this system doesn't have to have in the end so i just need to figure out what i'm going to keep in there what ingredients are missing and then see if there's a way to scale things down from there but uh, I don't know if that's going to be a today thing or not. Uh, I gave all these simple little three-letter names just because uh, I've been going through all... The, these guys have been my primary source of redstone. So I've been raiding every farm that has rotten flesh and, and getting up uh, tons of emeralds so I can buy all the redstone these guys will sell me for my couple of active projects. 
One of which may be a change of pace where I finally finished this room here. Uh, I definitely want to get a melon pumpkin farm in there. I definitely want to move the cactus farm from the basement to something a little more substantial over here. I'd like to get a kelp farm going too. Um, I need to get some mushroom farms, but I think I might be better off doing that in the nether than up here. And I wouldn't mind a, a little sea pickle farm too, but... Uh, actually, the sea pickle can go with these guys here, because these three farms are not something... That, these five, six if you count the cactus, all need to be running in the background. They, they have to be continuously running until storage is full. These guys, these three... Are, are the kinds of farms that can that really work best on demand so they're like those two high flower farms where I I don't need this thing farming flowers all the time I just need it when I need flowers so these are set up so I just throw bone meal on the top whenever I need flowers uh, whereas the sugar cane that is something that needs to run all the time and the bamboo is something that needs to run all the time Especially since I've burned through a lot of sticks here recently. Um, so likewise, when I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to fit in there and how I'm going to fit it, these six need to run all the time. These three just need to be on demand. And I wouldn't mind getting a vine something or other going. Um, and I wouldn't mind getting a moss farm of some sort going. But I just remember, I, I, I keep forgetting if you can make mossy brick and mossy cobble with uh, moss blocks. I want to I wanna say that was a thing, but, uh, oh yeah, okay, oh, beautiful. Uh, I kind of hate that it's a one-to-one, -one, but that's easy enough to come by. All right, and I bet the cobble's going to be the same way, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> By the way, uh, way more cobble than I know what to do with. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a second, too. Oh, oh yeah. All right. I, I definitely need a moss farm going then. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. All right. I definitely need a moss farm. And mm, is that going to need to be an on-demand one? Or is that going to... Or that might need to be a little more industrial. Because here's the thing. The only reason why we want vines is for moss, mossy cobble, mossy stone, and all that stuff. I very rarely have I needed vines for needing vines. So I might get a farm where you can get a couple dozen at a shot, and it just kind of stays there until you're ready to harvest. Uh, kind of like the uh, kind of like the the uh, cocoa beans. Um, okay. So that might be uh, whenever, and that gets moved. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, sorry. Hang on. Something warm. If you missed the Twitter, uh, the, the tweet. Um, COVID has made its way through the apartment, and uh, I am... The more recent, uh, recently hit, I really tried to sleep in and uh, try to rest up so that way I'd have a little more energy for this. But um, somebody, somebody does not understand what sleeping in is. So, yeah. <laughs> and I've got a few more from a couple hours later We he starts... Uh, bothering me from the other side of the bed to uh, just I don't know okay so this I, I've been tired of living out of the stack of temporary boxes ever since this was a small little hole in the wall uh, I, I've had a couple of boxes that I just keep kind of pushing over and so storage is one of the things that I wanted to do and I wanted to try out a few different things like I know I know medics got a shulker unloader system going and I wanted to try my hand at something a little bit simpler just to just to get a feel for the mechanics of it. And so that's what this is here. Uh, I've got an input chest that'll take the shulker boxes. You hit the button to get it started, and then it'll keep going until there are no more shulker boxes left. It'll enter it and dump them into the system and drop the empty shulkers into the barrel. 
I don't expect to need more than a barrel's worth of empty shulkers, but if we do, I can always swap that barrel out for a double chest. Uh, it is mostly based on uh, a video Pixel Wrist did not too far back. And uh, so that, there that is. The other thing that I've been trying to do is I wanted to try out a storage system that I saw. I, it, I've seen, I, knew, I saw it first on Shulkercraft, but the actual core is by Blocky Bryson. Uh, I've seen a couple other people do it that happened to have published it after Blocky Bryson, but you know, no, no credits were given. So, you know, at least, at least Shulkercraft said, hey, this is, this is Blocky Bryson's, you know, thing. Go check out his video for more. But I've been I've been running into nothing but trouble with it, and I don't know if it's worth the trouble or if I can make it work anyway. And that's kind of where a lot of my a lot of my spare time's been set up. I mean, I, I crafted all these chests and hoppers and droppers and things uh, <laughs> with the intent of building it out. It also takes up a little more space than I than I real less space than the Nimbom one that we used in season one, but uh, a little more space than I thought. And this, this is not meant to be a replacement for community storage. This is just for the stuff that I want to have on hand or I'm likely to have on hand until I bring it over to community. So, you know, if, if this was community storage, there'd be a lot more bulk than just this. Uh, I, under, I overestimated how much dirt I was going to need storage for. I did have more than I realized, though. And it was scattered across, like, three of those chests over there. So having it in one place is nice. Same with the gravel. I had it in three different chests. I thought I had more than I did. Uh, so, I don't know. Like, do, do, do I need bulk gravel storage over here? Maybe not. Uh, ditto for grass, but then again, I haven't done any terraforming projects, so you never know. Uh, sand, I really thought I had more, more sand than that, but then again, I've been doing some stuff with concrete powder, and... I'm not sure where else... Oh, oh, that's right. Two stacks of dynamite. That, that's where a fair amount of my uh, sand went to. But I might actually not need that in bulk storage either, which kind of surprises me. So, I, I mean, I might change a couple. I might change these two out for something else like... Uh, <clears throat> Like, uh, I, I haven't run into enough stone bricks to make it worthwhile, but if I do, or I, I've got a surprising amount of snow. Uh, but then again, that that's like taking up a bit of a single chest. Same with the smooth stone, same with a bunch of the stuff. So I don't know how much bulk I need here, except cobble. Oh, the cobble. Crikey, I got a lot of cobble. And, and if I thought I had a lot of cobble, I've got even more stone. I'd bring some of this over to community storage, but community storage is overflowing with stone too. Uh, contrary to what it looks like here, this is not a single chest. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do something a little different with my bulk storage now. So I've got a slightly staggered setup past the filter. So it's your your standard impulse sv item filter dealy uh i'm using a hopper line instead of a water line because i'm not bridging that many and uh i, I didn't have the room to get the water line going because i was originally going to do this off of uh blocky bryson's design but very very little of this is his actual design i'll get into that in a little bit too so you know a lot of this, like, I got I got stone for days, but I only got the two chests for cobble. But I do kind of like that uh, all I got to do is pull from that bottom chest and everything else will flow down, which was one, one, of, the, one of the things that was commented on in Season 1 storage. Uh, I also took the time to rename the bottom chests as well as put the block underneath it. Although, I'm tempted to take that block and put it up there. And then add a hopper into this spot here so that I can take an empty shulker box and drop it there and fill up a shulker box of an item if I need to or if I want to or if I'm filling up a shulker box like put in all the stuff that I need and then the rest is supposed to be stone bam drop it in there let the stone drain out of the system into the shulker box but then we're getting into uh, it, it's gonna start messing with the really nice line over here by the wall 
and I don't I don't know how useful that's actually going to be. So we'll see. <coughs> I also don't know how long my voice is going to hold out, so th this might end up uh, ending before we actually do anything constructive. I really thought I really thought I was going to be able to manage better than this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, Blocky Bryson's design is similar to the Nembaum design in that you have chests and you put placeholder items. So if you want stone brick, you put stone brick where you want the stone brick to fill in. And then you put the ender pearls where you want the ender pearls to fit in. And you put the rockets where you want the rockets to fit in. And you don't leave any empty spaces. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we could, we could do that too. Um, so you, you fill in all your placeholders just like we did with the season one storage. And what will happen is once you start inputting items, either through the shulker unloader or through the random items box, I've been watching enough impulse and skiz that I keep wanting to call it the empty your pockets box. That uh, it then starts its way up this elevator and then goes from there. Now, Blocky Bryson's video actually doesn't put the bulk storage until much later in the storage system. And I just, I don't, I do not get that at all. Because seriously, if you're going to have enough of a block that you need bulk storage for it, why not clear that out of the system sooner? Uh, so his clock uh, would often leave items stuck in the dropper elevator and he used an old school torch clock which has all sorts of issues of its own uh, <clears throat> or sorry torch tower off of a very different clock and, and um, it also because it also ran into the problem of it doesn't move items up the tower as fast or faster than items come in from the hopper. So if you were to do something like, I don't know, throw four shulker boxes full of stone and fill this up with stone, sand, and dirt, uh, you actually run into the problem where this dropper at the base of the tower locks up because it is full full and so the pulsing mechanism doesn't work. I, I know just enough to understand what's going on, not enough to explain it well, so forgive me for that. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I ended up switching out to an Etho hopper clock with two items, and that way when any item or any number of items is in the dropper, it powers that wool block, which depowers that torch and does a couple different things. Uh, <clears throat> by depowering that torch, it depowers that lamp there, which powers the one that's under that block there, which turns the light on to let you know that things are making their way through the beginning of the system, which is totally unnecessary and something I just did to see if I could. Uh, although the problem with that is that only shows you when things are leaving the uh, input part of the system, not when they get to the end. And it also powers this block, which depowers this torch and lets this clock go. And so it, it'll shift the redstone block back and forth in a fairly regular system. And every time this powers up, when the clock goes, it updates this observer, which updates this observer which updates this observer and this observer. So you've got a power signal powering this one, which moves this one, this one, and this one, as the signal's going up and triggering this guy, which powers this one, this one, and this one. A and this way you get a, a dropper tower that gets things all the way up to the top. Although, <clears throat> I need to double check the, the season one Piglin farm because I think I had a much more compact tower design that would do the same. Th oh no, that's right. That's why I didn't use that. I, I tried something similar to that. A fa I tried something with a faster clock, and the problem was, 
The problem with the faster clock is uh, things were moving up the torch tower faster than these item hoppers could move them. I could do like I did in the uh, Hoglin, no, Piglin trading farm um, and put like a double chest bu buffer up here. But uh, we, we had problems with that just with the level of stuff that the Piglin trading hall created. And that's nothing compared to somebody dumping like five or six shulker boxes of items in here and just letting it rip. Uh, so that's why I went with the slightly slower clock. So that way it gets things up in here fast enough for the hoppers to move them. But because I had already switched from Bryson's clock design, uh, this part wasn't working right. And he also had this weird thing where you're running the, uh, the, this whole thing is predicated on a power pulse traveling through and moving items down. And I'll, I'll get to that part in a second, but he would do things like run the power pulse from this side of the bulk storage to this side of the bulk storage, which is great unless the, the bulkier items are getting caught up here, in which case there are no power pulses to move it beyond wherever it lands here. And that's kind of the problem over here. <clears throat> this is attempt number 72 to try to solve the problem. But basically the idea is that items come in. They finally make their way into this dropper here. And there's a ripple of pulses that lock and unlock hoppers and trigger the dropper. So the dropper moves the item into this hopper, which is pointing into the chest while locking the bottom hopper so it has a chance to try to go into the chest if it can. Uh, if it can't, then as the next ripple comes through, the hopper underneath gets unlocked and it flows down and into this guy, which gets powered, bringing him up into this guy, which gets powered and puts him in here. And it tries to put him in that chest while that one's locked. And then if it does, great. If not, it continues the loop on through. Um, <clears throat> I, I've been routine, like I'll drop in just four or five items and I'll routinely get at least one item stuck here. And if it has to travel more than a couple chests down, I, I'll get two or three items stuck in the system back here. And I just, uh, I've tried, I've tried his clock. I've tried a bunch of other clocks. And I just can't find some, I need to figure out something that will help, um, that'll help move everything along and continue, continue down, um, just long enough that, uh, that it maybe sends a few, uh, ripples for a while longer. Uh, which is sort of what Nembombs did, where it had a giant clock underneath. And every time an item would go through the system, it would restart a burndown clock. Um, and the burndown clock was long enough to get an item from the beginning to the very end. And I guess I want something that has that kind of idea, but I, I understand Nembombs designed just enough to 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 visualize what's going on but not so well that I could repurpose just the parts that I want here uh, I'm at that weird uncomfortable middle stage does that make sense uh, I, I'm at the truly dangerous part where I, I understand just enough about what's going on to start messing with stuff, but not enough to actually do something useful with it. <clears throat> so I might try, I might try a few different designs. Uh, I might go for a different clock design too. Uh, and maybe get a pulse extender. So in other words, when an item hits this, it starts the clock and um, gets a pulse extender moving. Um, I 
just I don't know. Yeah, let me let me tear this down because the this is not gonna the this is not cutting it. Um, not for this one. And then the question is 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 this what I spend my is this what I spend my day on? I mean, I really, I do, I do want to, I do enjoy this, but I, I'm also not feeling the best. And I don't know how much that's going to affect things, too. I mean, I, I could follow Arcadius's suggestion, and we'll just head on out to the, uh, the Guardian farm, uh, or the Guardian, the, the underwater temple, and just start dropping sand and working on that project. Um... I just need to bring uh, enough enough redstone for a smart piston, and uh, we'll be good to go. But then again, I need to know where the, where the sand's going. Besides, over over the temple, I understand over the temple. I just can't remember how far how far past the edge of the temple you want. I think I need to go gather more sand too. Although he's got he's got some sand over there, doesn't he? Let me let me go empty my pockets and we'll go from there. So yeah, if if I could manage the focus, I was gonna try to work on that some more. Um <clears throat> if if not, then uh yeah, it's not like I don't have other things to work on too. Um uh, And Reyes doesn't exactly sounding any better over there either, so. I could leave all that there. Let, let, let's go, let's go check on the, uh, how are you doing? Uh, the Guardian Farm stuff, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I wouldn't mind finding a way to auto-harvest this. I don't think there's a way to replant, but at least it would be no, more noticeable that it was there. Um, and I got to do the larger bee farm too, but I think, I think so far I'm the only one really using and collecting the honey, so I don't know. Like, oh, I guess I have been spending a lot of time by my base. <laughs> wow. Okay. Huh. Huh. Well, okay then. These guys even without the bone meal, are still producing a fair amount of potatoes. And the the carrots are a little bit leaner. Uh, they, they could definitely use a little more a little more help with the bone meal. The wheat is sad. That that's just like seriously. Uh, <clears throat> that that is that is not acceptable production levels, gentlemen. And uh, the beetroots. The beet oh hey. Hey, we finally got a stack of beetroot. Yay! Uh, <laughs> the, these guys also uh, are taking way too long, and it doesn't help that they only work it during during normal work hours. So right now in game, it's like 1:04 a.m. There's some beetroot right there, guys. Get to harvesting. Come on, come on, work. Uh, oh, so they finally did work through the through the uh, through the bone meal. Huh. Who'd have thunk it? Yeah, so we got a stack in four, a stack in seven. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, these guys, these guys are killing it. Um, so we'll have to get that trading, and I really do want to put a slightly bigger cactus farm. Although, again... This is turning out to be one of those things that we don't need a lot of until we need a lot of it, and I don't, I don't know that we need to be producing more than this or not. Although I might do it anyway, just you know, because, because it's me, and I can't, I can't not. Uh, <clears throat> and these guys, I got to find a home for them. Uh, depending on how the storage system goes. Oh, oh, this is new. This I know I did uh, after the last live stream and before this one. Um, I, I wanted a, a three by three door for the back entrance that was not a gravity door like the front entrance just to have something different. 
So I went back to the 3x3 three three spiral piston door that Mumbo Jumbo put together. I used it in season zero in the temple. Um, and in the redstone down below, there's a sign with the, uh, with the link. And th this is just, you know, nice. That is so nice. Uh, I use I use that one because on this side I've got a little more room up top than what I do on the front side, and uh, yeah, yeah. And as much as I as much as I hate that you can see the sticky piston there when it's retracted, I, I much prefer having a window to see what's chilling out here in my entryway. <laughs> Because uh, th there's almost always something chilling in the entryway there. Uh, I get, uh, let, let me go grab the rest of the uh, honeycomb in case community storage needs that too. Because uh, I'll bring the half stack of honey blocks over there. I know like I've been collecting a fair amount of that. Um, I, don't, I don't even know. How are the shears doing in there? I don't think I've really thought of the shears since I got these guys first set up. Yeah. Okay. They're doing all right. I mean, I could definitely get a barrel and a, a, a hopper pointing in there for more, but uh, I'll figure something else out later. All right. Let me... Uh, let's fly on over to community storage, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, that, that is where I spent a fair amount of time uh, helping Medic clear out some space for the uh, the main castle storage project. I need another drink of tea, but I'm pretty sure I shouldn't drink and fly at the same time. I still got to finish the rest of my dining room. Yeah, I still got to finish my bedroom up there too. I kind of, sort of started to put a uh, put a design in the. Yeah, we've been running into some weird connection shenanigans too. Uh, is that where the honey stuff is going? Okay, that's where the honey stuff is going. There we go. Uh, what did, I, what did I come over here for? I can't... I don't even remember why I came over here. Oh, that's right. I spent a little time over here, too. Um, uh, <clears throat> after, after finally getting, uh... The villager transport mechanics worked out. I rearranged the storage over here, so that way two things would happen. Number one, these guys would all fit in a one by one by two tube. That way, population control is maintained, and uh, these guys um, don't stack up more than more than uh, cramming entity cramming will allow. And I got this nice dispenser set up so that way you don't have to come up here with a uh, with a cart to get them. You, you just push this button down here and a cart gets dispensed. Because I had never done it, I wanted to play with some of the leaf stone. <laughs> uh, as it was jokingly called, uh, I definitely found the limitations of it because it's like one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, five, five or six is about the maximum distance you can move a signal. But the neat thing is, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, where, where I've got all the mini HUD statistics, that second to last item where you see distance seven, that is, that is a property of the leaf that has the distance from a piece of wood. Which means when you push that button and the sticky piston pushes that log out, distance here gets updated to 1, updated to 2, updated to 3, updated to 4, 5, 6. The uh, observer over there detects that that guy got updated to distance 6 instead of 7 and fires that log. 
which does the same thing and moves that redstone block up, which is what causes the dispenser. There, there are far, <laughs> there are far easier ways to do this. Uh, but that was one of those things that I'd never played with it before, so I wanted to try it out. Uh, that, that is legit the only reason why that is the way that it is, is I just wanted to try that out. Um, this is a good way to get a single pulse around corners, though. Because, so in other words, if you put two, three, four, five, and you hit that one with the block, it'll one, two, three, four, five and go around the corner too because again it's the number of blocks that distance is the number of blocks distant that leaf is from a log and so that that that's a situationally useful bit of redstone um, <clears throat> and, and there's a few other ways we could have done some of the other stuff too um, but again, I, I I just needed it to fire once and get a get a cart coming down here with a with a person, and then I left this powered rail here as a break, and then you could uh, redirect the rail wherever it is that you're going to take them, and then go from there. So that that was a fun little side project. Um, I know Arcadius has been spending a fair amount of time over here getting the. Uh, Iron population squared away because we we were looking a little a little low at the for a while there, and I <laughs> I love that guy. Um, <clears throat> I also know that I raided the uh, gray wool for my project. It's not a redstone project unless you're using wool, <laughs> except it looks like there's plenty of lay gray back. So uh, yeah. I think the only one that we're, we can't seem to get a solid hold on is the Black Wool because uh, Medic's using that for one of his projects. And that's kind of where, thing, where things are at. That, that, I think that's everything that's changed since then. Uh... Yeah, sorry. Having a short, short-term short memory something or other moment. I do need to figure out what I'm going to do with this room. This is my room in the castle, my keep of the castle. Um, I've got two smaller rooms here. I can subdivide it as much as I want. I can turn it into a loft if I want. Like, I don't know, make this a work area. Ooh, I could just make this a basketball court or something. And then put a bed and whatnot on the roof up there. That's always an option, too. I was thinking of doing this patterned bone block around the center and then something else in the middle. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, sand. I was going to check on, uh... Sand storage, because, uh... Oh, hi, friend. How? Oh. Oh. Behold, a wild ex medic frog. <laughs> okay, never mind. We we don't have a lot of stand over here. There you go. Oh, he's catching on. Okay. <laughs> Someone may or may not have slipped in some pieces of paper about how uh, this was final notice about his car's warranty. Uh, we got to do another lighting project over that way, too. Um... <clears throat> Because I found out the hard way that Arcadius AFKing over by the iron farm was causing a serious drop in performance at the mob farm over here. This stuff was spawning in armor and not despawning over where he was, leaving less stuff to uh, spawn over here. Uh, it's probably been a little while since I slept in the game, too. So let me do that real quick, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there.
Thank you. You, you know you don't have to do that, right? It's in the contract. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay, what? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. The zombie flesh is what... <laughs> I, I have thoroughly rated the zombie flesh uh, for, for the cleric trading. And we're starting to get a decent backlog of sugar cane again now. Uh, I still, I still need to get a few more layers in that. I just haven't had the focus to do that part of the project yet. Alright. Oh, I forgot to put gold on. Let's, uh, get by Tibbs over there. Yeah, my, my only concern with putting a mushroom farm in the nether is somebody would actually have to be in here to keep it loaded. And I just, I don't know that anybody is. Well, that didn't sound good. Well, I'm not in there very often. Okay, so he's got three shulkers worth of sand. That's uh that's a start. There's more over at the dig site. What more shulkers or more sand? Because I know there's more sand over there. Mm-hmm. More sand. Okay. Uh do you know how far you're gonna fill in with the sand or beside or just the square? Just the square. Okay. Let me uh let me go get a couple of things and I'll I'll be back. Yeah, I'm sitting in the oven right now trying to get two more skulls. <laughs> yeah, uh <laughs> that that has definitely been a problem for me as well. I I I've killed like fifty some odd withers and I got two skulls for it. I haven't broke a hundred yet and I've gotten both of our beacons plus, yeah. Oh, maybe we should do a uh, skeleton farm. Uh, that that has been a that has been a thought. Uh, although if I'm gonna build a farm in the Nether, a blaze farm is definitely my first. <laughs> Ooh, bless you, whoever that was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm -mm. Server, uh, uh you're <laughs> yeah. Don't forget you muted yourself for that sneeze that got heard over my microphone. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, that that's where those four boxes went. Uh, in the three boxes that were back here, they got consolidated down into that bulk storage, and uh, most of that was cobble and stone. So much stone. Uh, what did I come here for? I need... A repeater, a torch, redstone... A piston? No. Why, why, why am I, you know, just take the whole stupid box. I'll figure out if I can remember it later. Grab some empty shulkers, because I might just grab some sand. Grab rockets while I was at community storage. 
I think I've got some in my uh, plate box. Hello, Beach Duck. How are you doing? Warning, this might not last as long. <laughs> this lasts as long as my voice holds out. Somebody, somebody's, uh, hmm. Lagging out the server? Yeah. Not it? I don't think it's me. Can't imagine what I'm, I'm not, doing that would do it. I'm not doing anything to do it. Yeah, I know. I tried to toss a bone in your pockets, but uh, it seems you, you, you figured out not to leave uh, empty inventory slots open. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that one. <laughs> Why, well, I don't know how. All right, if I was Arcadius, I would have put the boxes of sand... Go back up toward the, the base stations right at the base of the portal. Ah, there we go. Well, that's not usually the way you work. That's why I was kind of confused. Well, that's why it was <laughs> called the base station. Because it's at the base, you know. It had... You, uh, you, you made it sound like there's a lot more sand out this way. There is. There's a desert full of it. <laughs> I didn't say I'd pick up the sand. I just said there was more sand out there. You know... Lace <laughs> 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 Seriously, you're going to go through four shulkers of sand? Uh, when you see what I'm getting ready to do? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to burn through four shulkers of sand with a quickness. Is that the one that was up there? I mean, not that it matters. All right, what did I want? Uh, I wanted it. At least one shovel. We'll see how long that lasts me. <laughs> Not long. Actually, I might need to... I Given as much sandstone as I got floating around, I might need to convert one of my bulk storage over to that. That's what I should probably do for the for my uh, room in the castle. Make it out of sandstone because it's something that I've not not done too much with yet. Yeah. I was actually thinking about using red sandstone in something, but uh, don't forget we've got that custom recipe that allows you to dye sand into red sand. Yeah, no. I Which is 
definitely helpful around these parts because uh, I, I think that little patch of red sand is about all we've got. Or at least all I've seen so far. Oh, you know what I haven't seen? Has anybody found a uh, mushroom biome yet? Mm -mm. I haven't even looked for one. I mean, I haven't gone looking for one, but I'm also not usually the one that goes looking for stuff. It just seemed odd to me that uh, we, we haven't come across one yet. I haven't come across a mansion yet either, but I bought a, a map. Oh, I haven't come across a mansion in a couple of ver game versions. Like, I never seem to be able to find those unless I desperately do not want to run across one right now. <laughs> like I said, I bought a map, so maybe going to find that... Um, <laughs> I might find some stuff we don't have. Yeah. Like a red cow. Well, I mean, that was the main reason, is uh, so we could start getting uh, like some of the beneficial suspicious stews. Since the only people I seem to breed are, are guys that poison you with suspicious stews. Like every single one of those villagers, their second suspicious stew is poison. It's like they know what happened to the people that didn't make the cut earlier. Poor guys. Well, they should have bought both melons and pumpkins. Or both pumpkins and melons. To, I need to come back with a bunch of seeds again and see if I can't get more parrots out of that jungle too. I got I got two of the three that I found over here. One of them th flew through the fire, so he comes through the portal burning to death, and there's nothing I can do about it, because what am I going to do? Dump a bucket of water on him? We're in the nether. And I, so I, I'm like, all right, I, I at least got two of them, so I can breed some more parrots, and then that's good. Except, uh, you, you can't breed parrots. So if you want another... You so what? I thought you could with cookies. Nope. Uh, a cookie will kill them. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Matt, well, in an earlier version of the game, you could feed a parrot a cookie, and then somebody pointed out that chocolate will kill a parrot. And we probably ought not be teaching kids to give a parrot a cookie. Especially one that's made with cocoa. <laughs> and uh, and so they, they updated the code so that way if you gave a parrot a cookie, it dies immediately. But so you are right in the sense that that was a way that the game worked at one point in time. But that's not the way it works now. They, they changed that with the quickness. Yeah. Of course, every time I go back to community storage, I, can't, I keep trying to figure out why all the dogs are staring at me, and then I remember I, I keep a pork chop in my offhand. Like, oh yeah, that's why the dogs are always staring at me. Kind of like real life, too. I see you have a sandwich. I, too, like sandwiches. <laughs> Although Jobin knows better to, than to stare overtly. He just kind of gives you the, the side eye. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you happen to drop it, I'll, I'll be happy to clean it up for you, you know. All, all you got to do is, is at least the pretense of an oops. Just that, just that little bit, you know. Uh. 
Have we really gone through that much terracotta, too? Or is that all sitting in chests? That's in those chests right below you. Oh, okay. So I, I know I've gone through some terracotta. Um, especially with the uh, the design in the dining room floor, but... I didn't think we'd gone through that much. you're going through a lot of terracotta so <laughs> unlike the sand I actually uh, tore through like three pickaxes worth of durability uh, oh picking up uh, those chests <laughs> yeah go grab a couple of stacks of TNT and go pick up sand that way. <laughs> Mike Masnick was uh, complaining to, to somebody on Twitter going, hey, what, what do you mean you haven't seen The Godfather yet? How have you not seen that? It's a classic. To which I replied, Mike, we're old. It's a classic to us and film and aficionados. I've got all three of them. I don't think I saw the third one. And it's been a very long time since I've seen him. I mean, I, I'll, I'll grant you some of the, the film style is definitely of its day, but I, I dare say it still holds up a lot better than uh, anything we got in the theaters now is going to stand up, you know, 40, 50 years after, afterwards. Oh, you talking about Star Wars? Oh, the good ones too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying? <laughs> oh, I was, just, I was just uh, making a comment that you know I'm, I'm just really surprised they haven't done a Godfather reboot yet. Oh, don't, don't even. Why, why would you do that? Why would you speak that into the universe? Because you know somebody's going to try to do it. Uh, what was one of the other ones they? somebody was complaining about that? Like, like you know. Oh, because. Uh, the critical drinker was going on about the fact that they they were thinking about doing a, a Highlander reboot with uh, Henry Cavill as the Highlander. That could be good. Uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I can barely say it straight. I I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I mean, yes, as ridiculous as it was to have a Frenchman trying to do a Scots and a Scot and a Scot doing a an Egyptian Spanish whatever he was. <laughs> uh we'll pretend the second one never happened and uh the TV series started really good until you noticed that uh, what's his name is the lead kind of stopped caring about the show. Like you can see the trouble. I want to say that there was some contract thing in the background. I used to I used to know, but I don't I don't remember right now. I, I seem to recall there was some contract dispute where he was trying to get out, and they kept forcing him to stay. And it's like. In what world does forcing your lead to stay help you keep a viable product? That one? 
No. <laughs> no, definitely not that one. Uh, it was abundantly clear that he did not care. Well, I have enough tears to do eight dragons. Ooh, we could go do that. Checking your uh, ingredients list. Well, I've got the the what's my call? That's the most important part. No, oh, the gas tears. The rest of it I can get. No yeah, I I need I've got some spare blaze rods or blaze powder uh, on the second floor well, of the brought, potion brewing room. No, I brought back tons of blaze rods. Um, it's the pearls I don't have. How many do you oh. need? Uh, 32. Okay, I got that in my uh, travel bag. And I will head over here to our librarians and see if I can buy the glass. Should have all the crystals. Uh, and don't forget, I got, uh, I got those four clerics that I'll sell them to. If you got the emeralds, they got the, uh, <laughs> they got the ender pearls. <laughs> so ain't that rich. Those things are like five apiece. Uh, I thought we were rolling in emeralds. Don't we have a beacon made out of emerald blocks? No. I have a gold beacon. That's different. I, th I thought you had to say it like uh, solid gold. A gold beacon. Well, no. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no? No, I don't want to be that guy. I mean, I guess from a strictly technical standpoint, I, I, I am too young for that one too, but I mean... Most people know, all right? No. I keep thinking I got more sand than that on each trip. All right, I'll save this one. I got time to be a little more meticulous. Let me go find a nice big flat of uh, sand that'll go down quicker. Um, why is there a random chunk of floating sandstone? Probably because I was clear cutting too quickly and it got glitched in there. Okay. Or is that in a spot where it's just sitting there naturally? Uh, my inclination is that it's probably a natural formation, just... That doesn't make it any less odd. I mean, that's awfully flat for... No, okay, no, I haven't done that. Yep. That's, uh... No, no, don't get distracted by the cave. Came here for sand.
Actually, how much glass do you need? Because I might have that too. Already done. Oh, okay. Oh, why did I didn't think about that? I'll be able to tell you how much it was. Uh, it's three and a half stacks mm. that I needed. <laughs> Uh, fifty so fifty that I had that. I'd have to check how much was in my glass box. Cause I, I know I'd been stockpiling glass for uh for a project. I just don't remember which project I'd been stockpiling it for. That's the problem. So I just kept stockpiling it and never using it because it was like I know there's a project I needed a bunch of this for, but I don't remember what. How much more absent-minded can you get? I don't know, it's pretty absent-minded right here. I don't know, what were we talking about? Who? Huh? I sometimes wonder if uh, you shouldn't be able to use specialty tools to break down some of this stuff. Like, it doesn't make sense. I know you can make sandstone from sand. And it makes sense that you can't break sandstone back down into sand on the crafting table. But why couldn't you do it on a stone cutter? I can certainly turn a log back into sawdust. You know, maybe do the same thing for quartz, since you can't technically break uh, quartz blocks back down into raw quartz, and it wouldn't make sense to be able to do so. But, um, on a stone cutter, then you've at least got, because it's an advanced uh, crafting table, or crafting implement... No, nothing on that one. Of course, uh, we, we could be really snarky, like uh, one of the Moyang devs had, uh, was asking if the, the recovery compass was enough to get people to expl to go exploring the deep dark more than once. And, and somebody replied back, you know, it would get us to explore the deep dark more than once. If there were random loot tables that had the missing recipes for the slabs and stairs and walls of blocks that didn't have them. Concrete. <laughs> huh? Concrete. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Concrete, terracotta. I kind of understand not doing the glazed terracotta just because of the funky design that they have. And uh, I don't. I have no idea how you'd make that work on a slab or a stair and look even halfway decent. But I mean, seriously, the number of times just in building one of those rooms that I've complained about not having terracotta slabs and stairs and concrete's been another one and walls. Somebody's home. Yeah. I gotta do a better job of soundproofing the mic. course right now none of us is exactly quiet with the hacking and coughing and that's why I opened this up with uh, welcome to COVID craft oh no you didn't yeah I did 
It's made its way through the apartment. I am victim number three. That's a, that's a big part of why this, <laughs> this might not be a long stream. It depends on what I can manage. And I really wanted to work on that storage redstone, but I, I've kind of tapped out on that, or at least on as much as I can focus on with that one. Dropping dropping sand into a hole is a, a much simpler proposition. Although I might heat up the water for another cup of tea here soon, too. Okay, I might need to stop by the gold farm for a minute, too, to, <laughs> to heal up this uh, shovel. stand, shall we? would be nice too so critters don't jump off ledges
It would be kind of nice if there was a renewable way of getting sand. I'm starting to wonder if there shouldn't be a, uh, a villager profession dedicated to it. I don't know what you would do, though. Like, who would be the Sandman? Can you license Metallica for that? Like, if you make the villager look like Hetfield, what, can, can you could you get the Sandman? Only if he enters. And, and even then, what's his uh, what's his profession block going to be? I don't know. Some sort of heavy metal. Or, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I figured it would be the bell, so that way we know for whom the bell tools. I'm going to be mad if we get hats in Minecraft before we get, like, fancy hats and not helmets. Like, if we get hats in Minecraft before we get concrete slab stairs and walls. <laughs> I'm just saying, like... There'd be something very, very wrong with that. Go fight some dragons. Because that we can do. What you doing, man? We don't do it right now. We got the ability to summon eight of them. I guess I'm going to have to uh, go get my adventuring <laughs> gear on. <laughs> <laughs> Pouch. Ah. Let me uh, take just a minute. Um, hang on. Uh, options. Uh, let's just drop that off for a smidge. <laughs> Tank that before the dragon gets a hold of it. You know? Oh, that's right. You guys are in the nether too, aren't you? Not yet. I'm already over at the uh, in portal. Man, this is a lot faster than uh, that spider farm. <laughs> mm, that poor spider farm. <laughs> I, I mean, look, I, I will still go there when I need some string, but uh, it is definitely not the, the premier source for XP anymore. Just break the wool down. Yeah, I, I typically pick a color. I don't think anyone's gonna mind like 
pink or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can kind of see that. Carved pumpkin. I can put that away. I can put that away. Uh, oh wait, no. I am going to need a pick. Um, my sword. I'll bring a shield. Oh, I forgot bottles. I got them. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, for the dragon's breath? Yep. Might as well get it while we're here. Eight dragons. Oh! Where did all my oh that's right oh, all my oh, bottles oh, went oh. into the potion potion brews okay yeah. I was like I had I a forgot. stack of empty bottles right here I <laughs> forgot we're doing um eight of them so let me make more bottles there we go a stack of bottles each should be <laughs> good correct yeah okay. that that should be more than good. some more fireworks just in case I mean I should probably top off my uh, end of pearls before we go too far but I can always do that another day too arrows arrows I need arrows yeah I'm just gonna use my infinity bow oh I didn't realize my bow was an infinity bow oh nice uh, I am going to remember to uh, set my respawn point over here this time, though. <laughs> oh, that's right. Where's my armory? Because uh, I'm going to want better foot gear than the stylish leather boots. Uh, no, I don't need blast protection. I just need regular protection. So I'll grab my uh, OSHA footwear. That ender chest is a hot mess. Mm -hmm. okay. Rockets, bottles, pumpkin head, arrows. I think I'm good. <laughs> rockets, bottles, and bottle rockets. Rockets, bottles, and pumpkin head. It'd be funny if you could make bottle rockets. That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, that's kind of what I was thinking of. Like, uh, and what would. I mean, you, I guess you can make bottle rockets since you can make uh, since you can make the um, fireworks. Damn, but that doesn't make that that doesn't have the same effect to being able to go up to a creeper and be like, "What now?" and hit him with a Roman candle. I mean, you know. Wait, what about your crossbow with a rocket or with a firework? Okay, so you know that's like some, you know. That's, that's just some Rambo level craziness right there. That's not what I'm talking about. Armor, electric, everything's good. Yeah, check. Double check. <laughs> electric, check. Armor, check. Swirtle. Smite doesn't do any extra damage on the dragon, does it? No, because he's not undead. Mm -mm. Nope, but just like... He's the, evil. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, wait. But just just like the, uh, the Endermen themselves, they do take extra damage from uh, Bane of Anthropods or whatever. Wait, the dragon guys. does? Yeah. Bottles... You and so do the Endermen or whatever. No, oh, hang on, hang on, because I think I got a Bane of Arthropod sword with me too. Yeah, my plus one spider swatter. There you go, Anon, bottles. Ah, awesome. I didn't know that. If I'd have known that, I'd have been using the Bane of Arthropods all the time over there. Of course, I've only got Bane 4. Is there a Bane 5? Uh, yeah, the uh, the one at the spider farm is Bane 5. Okay. I, I gotta find somebody that sells a Bane 5 book or a Bane 4 book so I can get my uh, spider swatter upgraded. Well, the thing is, is it only it only works on the Enderman and the Dragon, so uh, I don't here. bother with it because it doesn't help with the Shulkers. <laughs> there, Arcadius. 
Well, two sets. Gotcha. Well, no, but I mean, if we're going to go here for the purpose of killing the dragon, bringing something that does extra damage to him seems like, you know, that might be smart. Oh, uh, no, I just, I, I was saying yeah. that I normally don't bother building one for it, so, because I don't normally do this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'd, I'll actually be right back. Uh-oh. Hey, you gonna, you, gonna, you gonna do the honors over here? Oh, I thought you were going to craft those up. Oh. I did all the hard work. I don't get the gratification. <laughs> Oot. That's right, because it so we're going to be able to do them to take them out eight times because it takes four per. Mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't have that on the hot bar after we summon them in. <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't do that. Let's not waste them, please. <laughs> I am still very, very tempted to uh, to make a Wither Rose farm so I can make a Ghast farm, and then we'll have all the tears we could want and then some. It, it also still amazes me that nobody's come up with a Ghast farm that uh, works off of powdered snow. Or maybe I just haven't found the right video yet. Well, why don't you make one? maybe. I, I don't understand the mechanics well enough yet. That's my problem, is I'm in this weird middle space where I understand it enough to follow but not enough yet to invent. That's why it's called inventing. You try stuff. And <laughs> stuff works, some stuff doesn't. And when it does work, you sit there and say, hey, look what I did. Don't ask me why, but follow along. <laughs> And you too can have something that works and you don't know why. No. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have a bucket of water handy. If I were me, I would have put a bucket of water. Oh, that's my uh, portable workshop that is over by my other project. Uh, no, no, I got one of my toolbox. Just in case I irritate uh, yet another Enderman. Oh, yeah, Jubba. He is uh, quite comfortable right now. I almost wish I had the, the cameras for my guitar bench hooked up so that way I could use them during coffee craft. Because what you can't see is Jabba is absolutely racked out right behind me. I could not move my chair to get free even if I wanted to. Seems two thirds of our uh, adventuring party has gone AFK before we go to Swamp the Dragon. Maybe I should just go YOLO it. <laughs> I guess that is not how a quick resolution is made. actually gone through and explored the entirety of this thing? Because I get the feeling like we haven't. It would be really nice to find one, at least one notch apple 
so that way we can make one of the two missing banner patterns. All right, sorry. All right. Okay. The uh, the gremlins in my belly or in my bladder were like, wait no. for it, wait for it. He's going to find a dragon now. Yeah, Arcadius just had to step away for a second. So as soon as he gets back, we'll uh, we'll get to the slaying the dragon. Hey, your pumpkin head looks different. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I was in the middle of a drink when he popped it back on. You gonna start doing to Arcadius like he does to you? I hear him across the room every time. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Where are you? That's when he leaves his uh, camera on and he gets up to go do something. And <laughs> No, no, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm? Oh, he's throwing a piece of paper at me. Uh-oh. Is it about your car's extended warranty? Or is this one from AT&T letting you know about, uh... Actually, I have no idea what they're trying to let you know about a uh, hang-up before they get uh, that far. They all disappeared. <laughs> You ready? Let's do it. He might need any more um ore while we're at or, uh, obsidian. Obsidian while we're at it. <laughs> Not at the moment. Although you might want to step away from that. I put down what one on each side, right? Yeah, uh, one in the middle on the three. Yeah. Yep. That's what I forgot to do. I got a whole bunch of uh, apples. Achievement for looking at the dragon through a um, through a telescope. I know there is for looking at a parrot.
Um, you know we got the one. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it. No. Yeah, somebody. No, I was talking about whoever was trying to thwack him with the sword. Me? I was waiting for you guys to finish it off. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm trying to get some damage in. <laughs> Why? If he's just going to keep healing that. No, I was getting the damage in while you guys finished ah! the one thing off. Yeah, but why? What damage are you getting in? None. None at all. Got it. He would have had damage if y'all had got that while I was doing it is what I meant. <laughs> oh, I should have grabbed some slow falling potions. That have made these aerial combats better. Ow! Did I hit you? No. I got hit by something though. I think I got hit by his wing. I swear my archer is like legless but less cool. supposed to collect that. <laughs> I was about ready to bring my trident, but we all know how that goes. Be able to get all eight tries in, <laughs> in one stream. <laughs> look, we look like the villagers in the Magnificent Seven. Uh, all we need is what's his name going. How can so many people shoot and not hit a target? With, with as many arrows as we have, uh... I can't even hit him with my sword. There we go. Oh, go. No! Oh, oh, deploy! Is that the point where it's nothing but physical damage? Ah! I oh. can't hit him. Deploy! Ah! Jerk. Ooh, that was almost bad. <laughs> That's one. Who got it? Who got him? I don't know. Hey. Is that you? No. Uh, it doesn't say. It, it had to be one of you two. Hey, that's alright. 
I was filling up bottles. Oh, don't tell me we didn't get the head of the elytra. No, I picked up the head and the elytra. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't want to sit it and let it despawn while we're sitting here going, Who got it? Like, who, hey, who cares? We pick it up before it disappears. Matter of fact, let me let me drop the those right here in this box, so that way, uh, yeah, it's in the barrel under there. Sure, that's safe. It survived that last go round. <laughs> okay, just check. I mean, I I, I I can grab a shulker out of my inner chest, and I'm sure one of these has got enough space in it. Yeah. Not the empty ones, the full ones. There, now it's in a shulker reminder chest. Okay, okay. I'm sure it's safe there. I mean, let's... <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Next one. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Here we go, round, 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 no. serious. Okay. Is that all of them? Nope. Nope, we're missing one in this cage that I've been trying to get. Yeah, I know. I was trying to get a way to just get it from up top like I did the last time. Because I got tired of fighting with uh, Boom, getting it. it from the corner. Finding the right uh, hitbox too. Ow! There you go. All my balls are good. Gotta kill the dragon. <laughs> One of the things we need to get little pockets of water and do uh, riptide tridents.
I will get my vengeance in this shot or the next. Okay, maybe the one after that. This is like a Hollywood movie with all the flaming arrows flying. Only the fake prop arrows are more dangerous. So it's down through the portal? No, no, I grabbed it before oh, okay, the portal good. in the middle of Because that's where it landed. <laughs> nice. Here we go. There's that, that, and the head. Alright, let me go put that in the shulker box that's got the rest of them. And here's all this, too, since you're keeping the safety stuff. Ah, yeah. Well, good. It's always good to have spare lecture. I still got 43 empty bottles left. I've got 44, and I've been picking picking crap up, too. I've been picking it up when I get a chance. All right, ready for the next one? Yeah. I'm just happy all that shower of XP refills my lecture with as much as I've been flying around. <laughs> Remind me to grab some more rockets after the after this one's done. I'm gonna have to grab more arrows out of my box after this one. Yeah, that's why I use Infinity for this one. As much as I love to have the mending, um, carrying enough arrows with uh, as bad a shot as I am. I uh, I just prefer the extra damage. Oh, that's right, because you use the poisoned arrows and all that. One oh. down. Ah! Oi! One down. Oh, come on. I was doing better than this the last time. too close for that one. That's my own fault. Is that the only one left? Yep. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Everyone's like, get away from that medic. <laughs> oh, got it. Got it? Okay. Yep. Let's joust. I mean that that's not too bad. That that's how many before uh That was what, Ender Ender Dragon Battle number four? Um, um What are you umming about? I can't pick anything else up. Sorry, right. I'm right here. Oh, no, no, no. Which one's mine? I have no 
idea what anything is anymore. <laughs> Down the hole. Figure it out. <laughs> okay, that's not mine. That's yours. All right. For you. That's not mine. That's. that's oh! oh. <laughs> I, I clicked on the wrong thing. That's not mine. That's not mine. That's mine. That's, mine. that's not my boat. That's my footwear. Uh, I'm missing my wings, and that's not my sword. Missing. I might end up having something with walls, but give me a moment. I don't have my bow. I keep tossing it to you, and you keep giving it back to me. You get any of the pork chops that I dropped? <laughs> I, I was going to say, just, I'll take half a stack at the moment. I mean, it's not like we don't have an abundance of them. But I think Medic's got both my bow and uh, my sword. I think he's got my arrows. <laughs> it's all good. And you've got my axe. Ow. <laughs> don't get knocked in the air right now, Mr. Oh, yeah, I, I just noticed that. Um, Might want to not. Okay, let, let me see if I can get down here and figure out what's in my inventory this year. So, okay. Yeah. It, uh, if it starts see, with so plus one, wing, it's almost. Huh? Fire swatter, yeah. leggings, bow, in crystals, uh, inner pearls. Mm, that's it. And that's I need at bottom. least one arrow. Okay, uh, well, I only have one arrow. Oh. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, I got more in here. Uh, where's my armory? Uh, yeah. Ow, oh, ow, ow! I think that's everything. I mean... Run, 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 oh. run. Oh, I don't have any of the uh, empty bottles, but... Got him. Nice. Dang, so neither one of you had finished this yet? Uh, we finished it, but we didn't deal with finishing blow. So we'd finished it in the sense that it had been completed, but not, uh... Somebody have my bucket of water. Yes, um, I have a bucket of water on me. I don't know why. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't get an egg or an elytra. Because uh, I picked it up before it despawned. Okay. It, it takes... It, it, you know, it takes more than three seconds for something to despawn. Hey, hey, hey. You know, the, these elytra... <laughs> do you want me to take time waiting for this stuff to, you know? I mean... It's like, watch this, it's like, it's, boom. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. I got it. Oh, I didn't get it. Did it despawn? Ah! <laughs> Don't run away. He's like, I hate you guys. I'm, I'm summoning a dragon. <laughs> oh, the dragon despawned. <laughs> uh, Ender Dragon 2024. Vote now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I, th I think the uh, Enderman might have something to say about that. Alright, that one's done. That one's done. Top is the hole of the toppest. 
the top is still there. Yeah, yeah, jeez. Uh, uh, yeah. No, I, I'm. Oh, nice. Whoever got that one tagged the dragon with it too. Yep. Got it. Got it. Good. Is that the last one? I think so. Like in one of those uh, dog fights. Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> All right. All my barrels are. Bottles are full now. And since I think you picked up the empty ones that I had, because uh, I got nothing on me. Oh. Yeah, I know. Nah. That, that, that's a go ahead and let him let him out of this one. Flappy flappy. <laughs> flappy flappy. <laughs> Come on, hit him! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's what it feels like sometimes, where you're like, okay, I got, oh, no. <laughs> Boom. And... Oh, and die. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh, did he spawn? Oh. I will turn <laughs> off PvP just real quick for like two minutes. <laughs> I didn't see the elytra. Did we oh, lose it? Oh, nope, never mind. I got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was some fast despawn motion right there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, what? I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, but it's okay. Uh, it takes a minute. You'll be fine. A random uh, iron rod here for. Uh, probably from all the I, ones that we've blown up. I just put it there just because. Oh. Aren't we going to use them to set up safety rails on all the portals? <laughs> we want to make sure that our uh, our end dimension getaway is OSHA safe. Especially after the last one we had. Yeah. Wait. That's me in uh, Medicaid number two. Oh, come on. For these serious. Endermen keep, these Endermen keep pushing me out of the way whenever I shoot. Ah! There we go. Got it. Yeah, somebody got it while I was flying next to it, too. Oh! Oops! <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's the kind of help I need. Ah. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. With help like that. I mean, what more could you ask for? Well, you know, I am a medic. <laughs> Is my stuff still sitting up on the, uh, thing there? Ow! Ow! Hey! Ooh! Ow. Got it. Is there any more? Oh, shit. Do I remember which one of these it was that has all my stuff? All my oh, stuff. I don't, I don't see any anything up here. Oh no, there it is. Scattered all over the place. I think that's everything. Wings, armor, pork. That should be it. <laughs> what? I saw arrows coming down on top of it, and I look up, and there's nothing on top of one of the pillars. <laughs> Yeah, I've had better luck hitting them that way than I have any other way. You get it all? That's the fourth one there. Okay. Typically don't decorate with eggs or anything, but people that do are going to have plenty of them. <laughs> uh, well, I would, uh, I would like, if anybody doesn't know, anybody else doesn't need them, I would like the eggs and the heads for my, uh, temple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go for it. But if anybody else needs them, then go ahead and take them. I'm just saying... Uh, cause I, I think I've got enough out of the, out of the heads that I, that I need for the moment, but, cause I've, I've got one or two more floating around from our last, uh, run through the end. Yeah, 
The All only right. thing I would ever do with them is make some sort of Hydra statue and have two of the heads yelling at each other. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. I've lost track. How many is this? Uh, I got eight crystals left. <laughs> so two more after this. So this is number six. This has been fun. This, yeah, at all the things that I could have been doing, I think this is about the right speed for where I'm at today. <laughs> Just go mess up the dragon. The real question at the very end of this mm -hmm. is, did we actually open eight portals? <laughs> oh, that's right, because the, oh, there's a random chance, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, and as we open more of them, percentages and all that. Oh! <laughs> but, oh, man. He uh, flew into me. Yeah, I saw that mid-air collision. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, I'm tired of your flight shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> what did the adventurers say when the black dragon flew into him? Got him. Got him. Coming down the land already? Awesome. Ow. Please, Mo Yang, uh, set things up so that way junk returns to where you last had it. Right after you give us concrete steers. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know why I have these random torches. Is that all my stuff? I think that's all my stuff. I'm like 90% sure that's all my stuff. Get him! Mm. And buy ya! Nice! I didn't get an elytra. Oh, yeah, I did. Never mind. I was about to say, I didn't get it. Yeah, I didn't get it this time. Although, I do you need to put the extra pick away? Before I accidentally fortune a uh, ender chest. I hear that's how crying obsidian happens. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how you get crying obsidian? You fortune the ender chest? <laughs> Medic's, uh, <laughs> Medic's like, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I don't know. I cry getting obsidian when I uh, <laughs> fortune an ender chest. All right, we're ready for the next run. Are you trying to? I'm ready. 
Yeah, okay. I'm ready. The penultimate dragon. Oh, is this the last one? No. Penultimate is the second to last. Oh, I don't know. I thought you had another one. Yeah, penultimate is always the second to last. Oh, we definitely have at least three new portals. Well, no, 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 no. We'll wait. We'll wait. No, four. Slow your roll. Five. Slow your roll. That's, that's, that's for afterward. What are you doing? No revealing? I was trying to stay away from the explosion this time. <laughs> Is that the only one in the cage? That's it. Uh oh, 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 run away. Bravely run away. Got it. Nice. into the, the withered cheesing station. Yeah. Okay, I did, I did, I was going to say, did I forget to put the enchanted wings on? <laughs> like, did I put on a pair of regular wings and run out of... Because with my luck, that would happen. Where's the hitbox? Ready for the last one? Uh, ready. Uh, ready. Mm -hmm. ready. All right, here we go. I mean, I could really take things back and start doing the ballroom blitz. Ready, Steve? How many people even got that one? You, Beach Duck. I don't, I don't think even Beach Duck got that one. That that wasn't quite her style of music. Mm. Oh, Beach Duck and old fogey. Nah, uh, because we're 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 talking the some more of the '80s metal rock kind of. Ballroom that Blitz. That that was the sweet. Got that one. Ah! Mm. 
Uh-oh. Close encounters of the dragon kind. <laughs> I jumped off his head. Oh. <laughs> It didn't really do anything. It, it, just, ah! it, it threw nope, me. Nope, nope. I wanted to eat, not shoot a rocket. Dragon's poop. <laughs> now, that was earlier this week when Jabba wanted to let me know that he needed to, you know, somebody with thumbs to open up a door. He, he sits down all cutely, tips his head back and looks at me, and then lets a giant wet fart rip like, uh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, ow! There's a problem with this dogfight. One of us can fly through the pillars. Not a bad haul. Uh, did anybody get the elytra? Yeah, I got the elytra. Okay. All right. Was that all of them? You said you wanted the. Did you want the eggs too, or just the head? The eggs and the head. Okay. I'll go and chant up the. Uh, Was that all of them? I got. Four, where you at? Okay. There's four, there's four more. And that's all the ones that I picked up. Awesome, so I got eight and eight. Yep. All right, uh, was well, there any more dragons to fight? That's all we got no. crystals for this time. Here's the question though. How many new portals did we get? All right, there's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Does that make eight? I think we did get eight new portals. Woo! Look at us. Nice. What's the total? Shulkers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a total of ten. Uh, so what? What is the grand total that you can get? It's twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Nope, twenty. Twenty. Okay. 20. So we're better than halfway there, though. We're better than halfway there. If we keep rolling with, uh, I guess those are medics' dice, uh, <laughs> we should have it in 10 more crystals. Yeah, I know. 
Because I, I would eventually like to then build a walkway around all the different portals. And I'm going to use the same machine I used to break the bedrock in the nether to break the bedrock over the portals. <laughs> so that way all you got to do is just like walk, you know, go around the walkway and, you know, walk into it. And you guys can't say anything about my dice because my dice came from you and uh, <laughs> they roll amazing. Uh, no, your your dice came from Rayest, and they roll amazing. Yeah. <laughs> they came from me. They roll pretty mediocre. They came from a non well. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's let's all be honest around here. We're all adults. They, they wouldn't roll for anything. Um, <sighs> you know what? <laughs> But to be completely honest with you, I'm kind of scared now that even mentioning my dice and his name in the same breath. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, they're going to have to get a salt water bath now. Just in case. Sage perfume afterward. <laughs> Sage perfume? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get out of here with that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm treating this iron bar like it's a precious resource, because we got more than enough iron to... <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... I don't know about you guys, but I'm heading back. Because I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go find a safe place to... <laughs> safe place to set myself and then go, go figure out who I'm gonna raid. Noggin protector on. Gonna refill my arrow supply and then I guess uh, back to gas hunting. <laughs> what, what are you gonna say it like that when we just opened up how many new possibilities for in cities and all that? That doesn't change the fact that chasing down those big fluffy idiots. Yeah. <laughs> It's no less fun. <laughs> I, I am still very upset about my uh, my stats for Withers killed to Withers skulls. Uh, you know, I have killed sixty-two Withers skeletons, and I have two skulls. Wait, you have two skulls. Uh, one because I didn't realize that you had already made a banner pattern out of the other one, out of one already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say I've got the other one. We can make another beacon. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I I have the one left, but. Oh, well, you know what? I might actually have a weather skull a skull somewhere. Maybe. Hello, Lagalicious. Okay. I, I guess that's the server telling me that it might be time to call it a night. Let me go reset my spawn point before something horribly unfortunate happens. And uh, I still find it funny that I made that ornate bedroom and I sleep on this couch more often than I do in the bedroom. Because it's like right here and easy. I guess we'll do the sand later. <laughs> Alright, and this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is always Coffee Craft. Friday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is a little bit of a grab bag for right now. Hopefully we'll get back to Games Revisited at some point. Uh, let's go give Beast Lord J a raid. Wonderful people. Definitely give him a follow if you haven't already, and uh, and I'll see you next time. Stick around for the raid.